Yo, test one, two, welcome to the show. Let's go. It's time to wake up. What's up, everybody? It's fresh air on a new one. I got a few things I want to talk about that's been running across my mind. I'm sure I've been running across yours, too. Who's making mac and cheese tonight? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> prophetic message. Welcome to my world. I'm going to tell you a couple things that might blow your mind. The best in life starts right now. Oh, oh yeah, that's fresh air. So, so, sometimes our beauty and style and happiness are just thrown off. We don't explore the, the styles better. You know, we don't think of our own styles. And sometimes our inspiration is thrown off. You know, we get insta Instagram and all these other Snapchats and selfies and all this stuff. And we're supposed to dress this way. And we're supposed to be this way. Wear your makeup this way. And your clothes this way. And your style this way. And your swag this way. And you gotta do it this way. And you gotta... What? You gotta do it. I could keep going. It's your daily reminder that your lifestyle is your own. You know what I'm saying? Your love and model of who you are and your music and your style and your beauty. You explore things differently with your quotes and everything like your, your smile. Yes, your core values and your mindfulness and your goals and your spiritual development and how your impact is that clear, specific, miserable goals. No, align them with your values. You know, for example, you might want to deepen your meditation practices, volunteer regularly, captivate your creativity all the time, develop a new regular mindfulness, practice it, make sure that you always level up, you know you're gonna get better, don't keep it stagnant, keep it moving, mindset with the aim to deepen your meditation till you can find yourself, woo-wee, I'm feeling real good connected, God is love, captivate your self-awareness, it will help you understand your thoughts and emotions and your behaviors and everything, achieve them through practice, becoming your more awareness experience will make your conscious self believe <laughs> what oh yeah yeah we're getting good we're getting good with this look seek that knowledge and grow continuously knowledge is felt explore your differences in your spiritual physical self and your perspectives engaging in activities and reading books attending workshops and seminars you know what I'm saying? do your thing practice self-care nurture yourself supportive relationships Give yourself a break sometimes. Organize yourself. Make sure you're encouraged by the best, not the least, the worst. You know what I'm saying? Engaging in supporting relationships about growth, not set to back. Aspirations that will carry you through the values and all that stuff. The individual perspective of your elevation will change. Ooh it's a profound positive mind that you're being. It's not fake, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Right now is real, so I'm in the now. Practicing guidance and gratitude. Compassion and clout, captivating gratitude and regularly acknowledge the anticipated boundaries that may come. So I'm ready for this. Let's go. The impact of yourself is the art of kindness. Knowing that others are seeking the same understanding, love and respect and practice and foster positive mindsets. All the time I'm supporting you this compassion towards myself, I can guarantee you, you'll feel good too. Even on the bad days, you value yourself, your spiritual self will guarantee wins every day. Supporting yourself, knowing encouragement, accountability, knowing that when the camera's off and the mic's off, you're still walking in the presence of God. You're still doing what you're supposed to be doing. Everything you say is the truth and nothing but the truth. No segue, no, no, no side, no side gigs, no, no, different, different strokes and different games. You get the straight me. I ain't trying to be sly, do something different, engaging in bad things. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help acknowledge and explore the differences of spirituality in the physical realm. Engage in activities that will make you strong, not pull you down. Understand that every day is going to be a new challenge and you're going to guarantee I'm going to help you. I'm never going to try to help or hurt you. These words I say is with truth and clarity that I will help lift you up and I will not try to always tear you down but sometimes some have to hear it. Some are stubborn like me. Some are feeling a certain way. And when they open up their mind and allowing it all to grow, the glow, ooh, the glow, practices that can pass.
to learn and grow and redefine your strategy in life. Remember that positive impact strategies, lifelong journeys, continuously review. And do it. Strategies every day evolve, gain new insights, aligning with your actions and your work and your spirituality. You can create a mindless, positive impact in your own life. Lives and others.
guiding your gratitude. You know what I'm saying? When nobody's around, tell me about what you're doing. Come on now. What do we have to do to achieve our highest level in our personal growth? We have to have that integrity for ourselves. Because our honor is being true to self. When nobody else is around, you're with yourself. You know what to do. Do it right. Practice, 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 and become the best you in no time. God bless.